greenhouse is moisture can, can be quite a problem, giving rise to condensation, mould and health problems. Okay, so moisture can be um, improved uh, firstly by removing the source, secondly by ventilating at the source, thirdly by ventilation of the room or the building as a whole, fourthly by heating and fifthly by insulation. So here we have um, a very common moisture source pouring out steam and if that's allowed to go on for too long of course you start misting up your windows and condensing uh, and eventually you may, you may even get mould. So we've got our first two ways of controlling moisture. We can just simply remove the source. Um, often of course that's not practical. I mean we still have to cook. So instead of moving the source we can control the moisture at source which in this case can be done by turning on our range hood or passively by simply opening the window. Another very important way of controlling moisture is by heating. Heating raises the temperature of the house and thereby lowers the relative humidities, thus making the house warmer and drier. You'll notice that this gas heater has got a flue. It's very important if you buy a gas heater that it is a flue gas heater. Unflued gas heat has put out huge amounts of moisture in the house and, ca and create serious moisture problems. They create other problems as well. Um, they release combustion products like NO2, which are quite dangerous to the health. Interestingly, people buy themselves an unflued gas heater, find they've got a moisture problem, and then turn around and buy themselves a dehumidifier. We have figures that show that one third of New Zealand houses have got dehumidifiers. The same figures show us that if you have an unflued gas heater, two-thirds of them have dehumidifiers. Another form of heating is electrical, like this fan convective heater here. They're efficient and quite effective. Once you've exhausted all the other methods and you still have a problem, then you might want to try a dehumidifier. But you must be aware that a dehumidifier uh, is only treating the symptoms. The moisture problem is still there lurking in the background. A heat pump is an, a very efficient way of raising temperatures and lowering humidities. No point in heating a house unless it's insulated, otherwise the heat escapes and temperatures remain low and humidities high. Over the years Brands has done a lot of research in the area of moisture and moisture control. Just recently we've condensed it and added it to our web tool ALF. ALF stands for Annual Loss Factor and was initially set up to calculate energy use in dwellings, meant for the use by designers and builders and homeowners and so forth. Now uh, we can also uh, model moisture and how to control it. On the screen you'll see a new tab called Moisture, and this is where moisture control can be modelled. Under this new tab you'll find all the things I spoke about earlier for moisture control, namely control at source, ventilation, heating, and insulation. This ALF tool can be found on Brands' website.